don't know about this. You got a better idea? Go, go open the door. You stop it. Shh. I feel like a criminal. Scientists push boundaries. It's the important ones do. Yeah, sticking to a few rules isn't always such a bad idea either, you know? Nobody is going to care about a few rules after they see what we've made. See what we've made? Is that what you just said? Yeah. Nobody can see what we made. Once they see Ginger and Fred, don't you think the world's going to want to know what's next? Do you think they could really look at this face and see anything less than a miracle? I'm Amira. Okay, I'm Amira. Nice to meet you. Um, so I wanted to talk about your character, and we talk about method acting and preparing for a role. How was it coming out with this character for a creature that really doesn't exist? You know, you have your own vocabulary going on. The you know, did well. Was that you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how was it? How did you come up with this character? Um, I work a lot with Vincenzo. We speak a lot about the character, about what he, he, he imagined before, why, what he wrote, and we spoke a lot about that. And after that, I was working physically in front of the mirror, like um, to, to, to understand how she can walk, how she can react, how she, I can do fast I can, as I can. And I work a lot on, on this way. And there's another way I work a lot like to, to find my own part of animal, my own feelings like love, angry, scary, uh, fear. I, I try to find my animal and deeper parts, my own one, and to be more direct, to be more uh, honest. Right. Okay, you smile for me. You know I love you, don't you? You're a part of me. And I'm a part of you. that creates her, there are no predator animals in it. There's, you know, a horse or a frog and plants and things like that. Do you think that that human element that they they included is what actually turned Drin maybe more as a threat? Like that's what eventually evolved? That human yeah, human I being? think, yes, it's the human part. It's, for example, there's some, how, how we can explain that there's some serial killer how your brain or a human human brain can go to this level. Mm -hmm. We have some part like this. We have some animal part, some some aggressive part, but we hide that because we know that it's not possible in our society to be like this, to, to, to react like this. So we forget this part, but it still exists inside us. But and because she's a mix she's completely everything is moving inside her and she, she grow like in the bubble she's not she has no information it's from unstable. yeah exactly uh, lastly i wanted to ask about i asked this to adrian as well with stem cell research human cloning what is your opinion about that and if that were to actually happen do you think that human nature we would be able to embrace another species or a creature like Dren or Fred or Ginger for that matter? I, I, I'm frightening. On one hand, I thought that if we can just help the research to find to, to, to find the good medication for disease, that's so good, that's so cool to, 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 to erase that. But at the same time, it's again nature. Because, for example, if we want to create your child like with a, a white skin or with a white and black skin, why not? Why, why not a mix? But it's strange. I think nature 
you have to just be pregnant. For example, maybe tomorrow the girl don't want to take fat and they didn't want to, to be pregnant. So they say, no, 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 I want my, my baby in the, in the pink buckle. <laughs> that, that's, strange. that's strange. That's weird. So there's a good hand, there's a bad hand, I think. Some limitations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Lovely. you.